we're building something here. I don't know of any other channel that does fishing and invites the subscribers to join in the adventure of making something new and different, trying things together that's never been done. Your feedback is building this potential product. Welcome back, Fish Gum fans. Do not forget about my subscriber giveaway at 300 subscribers. When we reach that, I will be giving away a vintage Pin 720. It is a beautifully restored reel. You can use it or you can display it. Also, at 300 subscribers, I will give away five more packages of experimental pomp shoes for you to try while you're fishing. And the last giveaway is perpetual. Every time I catch a pompano, one of my subscribers wins some experimental pop shoes. This is the video that you need to watch. We do tons of cool things that are outside the box. This is an invention that I came up with after seeing Gamagatsu had a product line that's used for salmon fishing up in the north. They were colored hooks. I believe they were octopus hooks. Uh, they were small, they had some bigger hooks, but I did not like the small hooks that they had, and I also don't like fishing octopus hooks. I thought the idea of colored hooks could be replicated. And these were my final product. These are the best surf fishing hooks on the planet. It can be any brand of hooks that you choose, your favorite trusted hook that you use fishing, you want to incorporate into this how-to video. I use Circle C Eagle Call Laser Sharp Offset Hooks. They're circle hooks, that's what I use. I give you the biggest secret that has helped me catch more fish. You saw in the intro, those 12 pompano laid out on the beach, every one of those pompano were caught using colored fishing hooks. The people next to us caught three pompano, they were using plain hooks. These give you the advantage. Many of you have asked me how, where can I buy these? You can buy the Gamagatsus, but you get six hooks for four dollars. Six hooks. You take your favorite hook and you pay them yourselves and it's so much more cheaper and you'll get enjoyment out of something that you made and you will catch more fish by doing this. Let's get on to the video. Thank you to everyone who has reached out to me asking me how to make these. I finally had enough twisting of the arm and I want to reward my subscribers and my viewers with something that's going to help you catch more fish. This is no gimmick. There's a lot of us that are set in our ways when it comes to fishing and we don't want to try new things. I don't care if you've been surf fishing all your life. This is something you want to try today. Go make these hooks you will be blown away by how they produce fish for you. Enjoy the video. The very first step is to preheat your oven to 350 and set a timer for 23 minutes. What you will need for this tutorial is you will need some needle nose pliers, some wax paper or non-stick aluminum foil, something with a small tip in order to punch the excess paint through the eyelet. A lighter. Protec powder paint. You can buy this on eBay. If you do buy it on eBay, it will not be in a factory sealed container. It will be in something that's been portioned out uh, in bulk. So this is what you can buy on eBay. It's fairly inexpensive. One tub of this will last forever when you're coating these hooks. You will need your favorite hooks. I use Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Circle C hooks. These are the aluminum ones. It's better to use the uh, black nickel when you're making these painted hooks. This is my favorite hook to surf fish with. We will be powder coated uh, two awk Circle C offset hooks. And that's all you need. We will be making 
my three favorite colored hooks today. So what we do to get started is we shake the Protec to add some air into the powder so it's easier to dip into. That was Blaze Orange. This one is a pink color. This is my favorite of all time, Yellow Chartreuse. This color has produced more Pompano than the other two colors combined. All right, this is how you will dip into the Protec paint. You'll count for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a flash dip as quick as you can. And as you can see, that hook is color coded. Let's cool it off because it can be a little tacky if you're using non-stick wax paper or non-stick aluminum foil. You shouldn't have a problem with it sticking. Let's dip one more so you can see how fast you need to dip it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty quick. Next we'll show you how to bust out that eyelet. All right, now grab your instrument that can fit inside the eyelet. And what you're gonna to wanna to do, you just wanna clean out that eyelet. So just kind of move this around, and there you go. Again, you want to clean out the middle of that eyelet. The outside's fine. Maybe it takes both sides. And you can see with the coat, it's kind of uniformed. And right now, it, it's very brittle because it hasn't been cured. Next, we'll see the curing process when we bake these under the temperature of 350 degrees on bake for 23 minutes. Set your timer for 23 minutes. Here's the oven. What you're going to do is you're going to pull up the first rack. And then you are going to be, begin to just hang the hooks directly on each wire. Maybe. Next thing we'll do, turn the oven off, pull out the wire rack, and let these cool for a minute, and they'll be ready to fish. So let's let that cool down for about 10 minutes. All right, now they are cool enough to touch. And there you have it. We are building something special here. I'm doing this for you. I look forward to fishing soon. I haven't had the opportunity to, but please join this channel right here. Join this channel. Become a subscriber because this is me and you. And I love giving away things that help you. Let's do this. Join us next time on this channel where we excite the surf strike. Merry Christmas. God bless you.